<laughs> so we're gonna see the wolf out of Hydra this time. Uh, this not really the Palatina. We've seen his Palu mostly today, but we also have he went Roy against Beast, and now uh, now we see the wolf for the first time today. At least. That's I'm true. I forgot that uh, Hydra used the um, the wolf against Beast. Oh, uh, classic Wi-Fi wolf dashback. Media Honestly, stuff. I mean, just in general, too, just like backing off, throwing out those lasers on a small stage, you kind of, like, just, just for one, catch some quick damage, two, uh, force Mouse Rat to make the right choices on approach, because if Mouse Rat decides to consistently quick attack in or try and approach with, like, say, lasers, you, I mean, uh, Thunderbolt, you're far enough away to get a read on that. Oh, yeah, like, it's definitely, like, Wolf has to play this matchup so, so carefully, because as a fast faller and as him having a very exploitable recovery one one misstep and one uh, misused jump and he's dead <laughs> oh my god there's like a there's like a smash wi-fi a meeting going on in chat it's like <laughs> please bring back locals i haven't i haven't lunch trapped on reaction in weeks <laughs> please take two of these today and you can t you too can lunch trap again even on wi-fi <laughs> uh, on offline anonymous like please uh i haven't I haven't touched online in weeks. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> it's too much, man. Oh my god, the dash check almost taking it out. So the the passive play from Hydra actually going against him. If either one of those got hit by uh, by that there, that that would have been somebody's stock. Uh, unfortunately for Hydra, not able to steal away one maybe with that wolf flash and no down there from Osrat. Just going for the grounded jab. One of wolf's actually it's faster grounded options. Um, that one was a dead. I missed you too. Sorry, I like to keep track of chat while we're doing this too. <laughs> oh, there right. you go. That is you know, a mistake and a half. Even, whether we're online or not, if you whip on top of Wolf, you're asking for the scoop to whoop. That's going to take you out. Scoop to whoop. Yeah, I know. I'm jumping back like 10 year memes. Leave me alone. No, no, I respect it. <laughs> Nothing but respect here. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi changing me, man. All right, the jump read for the four it is gonna take out the stock mouse rat, not letting you get too out of hand. One ninety nine, huh? <laughs> Wolf been living for a long time. Oh, drop through forward air instead of going just for a grab. There we go, dash attack. Trying to look for the back air, pretty consistent. Oh, and also I like that idea too. Even with the Thunder Jolt incoming, you throw out the up smash on startup. That way you can clank, uh, you can actually uh, clank with the, the Thunder Jolt so you can get that quick attack. What's near being such a huge hitbox? It's really stuffing out Mouse Rat in a lot of in a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a key factor. If you can keep Mouse Rat grounded by using these nears, making Mouse Rat's approach a little bit more difficult, uh, you're gonna be a great spot. Up oh, two. He doesn't have a jump. <laughs> call, the, call the Ridley Mains daily and tell them they suck. <laughs> that, reminds me of, that reminds me of an old skit that uh, happened on the Chappelle show where they had people who called and just talked like a bunch of shit to you. <laughs> I, I need to link that to you, Devin, later. But that back air is going to get that jump. Hydra looking much better after that first talk instead of playing passive, kind of really meeting Mouse Rat on approach. And a lot of these lasers are like dissuading the aggressive use of T-Jol as an, as an aggressive tool thanks to its transcendent properties. So, like, Mouse Rat's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Quick attack isn't advised because of Nair, and the laser is making uh, Thunder Jolt difficult. So, you're forced to box air-to-air -air with, uh, air -to -air -to with Wolf if you want your damage, and that's not exactly the greatest conclusion to come to. Yeah, you see, like, I like the way that Mouse Rat's got, like, Mouse Rat it consistently catches jumps. That's just one of Mouse Rat's best things, like, really recognizes where a lot of jumps are going to happen often. Oh, good job not rolling to the left, because that might have been your stock on that Wolf Flash. I wonder if that would have been Sour Spot. I think it would have. Possibly. But... Like, the position was kind of awkward from what I saw. But even so, if that got the stage spike on that, that would probably would have killed. And that's second damage. Yeah, good, DI good job to DI out there, knowing the setup. Just a forward air. Oh, here we go. Thunder Jolt just going to push him just low enough. So Pikachu, again, this is one of those characters that no matter what, you have to be careful. One whiff on dash attack leading to so much damage already, but not really able to do much else. But quick attack's going to follow it up again. Gets the tech roll in. All right, it's going to finally come to a close. 
Momentum out of quick attack is like so deadly because they pop up at just the right height and oh no. I like the down air. They're trying to look for an air dodge away with that dash attack and Mouserat running right back in, putting on the damage. Look, just look at how quick Mouserat was able to run to this back. Excellent route taken by Hydra there to avoid that thunder. A pair of parries. Oh, that up smash push almost there, but the... Oh, you didn't go for the jab lock. I guess you know it was what? a little bit too far. Yeah, I think it was a little bit too far and probably just didn't trust it hard enough. Maybe accidentally dash attack there instead. Speaking of dash attack, not going to do it. Yeah, get in the wrong hitbox, the earlier hitbox. Oh, the up tilt didn't intercept the quick attack in time. Right, what's Hydra going to do? Trying to drop down off the platform, maybe go for a back, uh, back throw. This is insanely close. Get up attack goes under the forward air. Gonna do? Oh, it had the right idea, but just kind of waited instead. And it's gonna get the Thunder Joe onto the down air. Mouse Rat running it back after being behind so far. Great job from Mouse Rat. Uh, after what was a very difficult stock to climb, but we saw this in winners finals before too. Behind against Hydra and still able to run it back. Yeah, just iron will and conviction coming coming through the latter half of that game and really knowing when to pick his spots with these thunder jolts, making sure that their arc he's like full hop and shooting them at an arc and dividing a making a line between uh, what is it, Hydra and the ledge, forcing either a low recovery from straight up or a almost direct horizontal recovery. And both mm -hmm. of those he could find he could pick a spot to cover. All right, so it seems like we have a bit of a dilemma in chat, and I need to solve this for everybody. You got one of two choices. You only got one of two. Ready? Okay. Type one for Pikachu is busted. Type two if you miss the homies. You can only pick one of the two. Ready? Go. Hmm. That's pretty. That's a pretty tough choice, but I think I know which one I'm picking. Me too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna... It's number three. I miss all the homies, and Pikachu is busted. So we're getting into the next game. Now see, hold on. <laughs> see, I, see, I have the ability to do that because I'm caster's choice, so uh, I, I control the poll, but I didn't unlock that option for you guys. I pick secret option E. All see, Jam knew. Jam waited it out. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get into this next match. Alright, there's the power. Yeah, we're not going to play games. We're not going to say, oh my god, 666. Yeah, so many time, so many time Dan the man out. The homies, man. I miss the homies. <laughs> I really miss the homies and not fighting against K. Rule every five seconds on Wi-Fi. But right now we're in game number two on, <laughs> on Battlefield with uh, Mouse Rat running it back after it was a very close game. And uh, this is actually a stage we saw a lot between these two in Winners Finals as well. Yeah, both of them seem super comfortable on this stage and know how to use it to their... Uh... No to, to use their characters to lose around all three platforms and the uh, wider ceiling and corner areas as we saw a whole bunch of like, high explosive flames from Hydra during their winter final set. That down to so, oh, it. Yeah, you see Hydra just kind of waiting at the ledge to run all those nares. Uh, really just like waiting for Mousetrap to try and push the initiative because you already have a stock. Oh my god! That's something that Mousetrap's been looking for pretty much between winter finals to now. Finally gets the thunder on that platform attempt and that's gonna put some fear into the heart of Hydra. But good job getting that first stock. Alright, you no. know what? That's Look, I'm gonna be real. I know you guys busted, but that's just not fair. Like, like, you can wait all you want, but the extra charge time in this game just completely shuts that down. And what a quick answer from Hydra too to shut down what was such a like a, a good stock from Mouse Rat. <laughs> I'm still reeling at that elf smash. Like he had all the time to react and well, to no, stall. Here's, yeah, here's the he thing. Could, like, what do you even do there? You go to the bottom of the stage, wait for it to finally stop charging, and then you, you hopefully get in before they do it again. You drift down, and then you uh, you drift down to below the stage, and you double jump thunder. Which is the real strat for uh, Hydra, because once you see them dip low, you go and hit that little switch on your Ethernet cable real quick, and just watch as they don't get to hit the up beat. Ah, what? okay. Uh -huh. Now uh -huh. we're cheating. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, are, we are strategizing here. You can't lag us in the middle of a game. What? <laughs> oh my god, the up smash almost going to take out the, the jump back in. 
trying to go for the explosive flame. I really like the way that um, you see Hydra kind of bait movement and back off to make it look like explosive mm. flames aren't going to happen. And it's going to get the jump read with that back here and take the stock out. Yeah, he's really like one thing that I that Hydra is showing, like, even if it's between both his pick of Pabu and the stage, is he knows how to make Mouse Rat jump when he wants him to. Mm -hmm. It's like, I know once you're put in the corner, you want to drift back and double jump T or full hop T jolt, and you're going to be right here. Exactly. That's exactly what you want to do. Constantly make feel like make, make Mouse Rat feel scared of uh, his positioning, which is so hard to do against a Pikachu player in general, because usually they just kind of cruise for free. Here we go. going to put another explosive flame out, but the fade back Thunder Jolt is going to keep him just alive just long enough. Dash attack punish. Not going to do it because you're on the full other side of the stage. Trying to read really a jump with the Thunder there, but not going to get it. Yeah, after that early Thunder kill, we've kind of seen Hydra dominate this game. Yeah, no, it's uh, like, I think that's kind of been the, the theme of their matches between these two. Like, every time Mouse Rat gets a really good stock, that's about it. But otherwise, we saw in Winners Finals too, uh, when throughout the entirety of the match, it just seems like the neutral gameplay and the fundamentals of uh, Hydra have just been working better. Also, see, there was that little bit of lag. I was telling you that, that you're on your way back down. You just go ahead and hit that little switch. Or you just call Comcast real quick. Like, hey, yo, can you do me a favor? Just shut this down real quick for like two seconds. And we know that it's coming from Hydra. He dropped three packets. We see it. We have the technology. We know. <laughs> Hey, Ma, turn on the Netflix. All right, so let's see what happens. Trying to go for the back off uh, explosive flame and goes for yet another one. And that's going to take out the stock against Mouse Rat. Was that a taunt? Did he taunt there at the end? SMH. Uh -oh. And MH. Oh, and MH. This is why we all came here, by the way. This is exactly this is what we all needed the real in reasons. our lives. Oh, did you, oh Twitch can't even see it. We get to see Luna though. <laughs> she's so quiet. She's so she's so happy, just enjoying pets. What a good pup. Very good pup. Helper should pin that tweet where she has like seizures when she sees Helper. <laughs> oh my God! You know one of these days I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna the one where she loses her shit. <laughs> uh, Dev, Devin, you remember uh you remember Doodle, right? Uh yeah. Dog? yeah. So I'm gonna record one day for a very similar thing, uh how she behaves when he leaves. It's one of the like craziest noises I've ever heard a dog make. But she's it's just adorable and I feel terrible. <laughs> it's it, it's interesting when dogs like don't feel the need to like bark. It, but they still they still like communicate <laughs> plenty, but like they're not verbally communicating. It's, I don't know. So, so you say that see good dogs, all small dogs though, they loud as hell. And we're gonna be getting into next match momentarily, but we got to be blessed by Luna. Unfortunately for chat, you didn't get to see her. Oh well. Oh she uh, was, but <laughs> what we do get yeah, what we do get to see on all ends is when you hit not only the follow button, but that subscribe so we can see mm. that you're showing some support to House of 3000 as we <laughs> sit here in Grand Finals going on to this next match. What was a, a really good set coming in from Winners Finals. We already saw Mouse Rat make some adjustments, but it seems like Hydra is kind of done with that business and switching over to Palu in this game. Uh, I mean, the last game and into this one. Let's see if he's able to replicate that success. Town City is probably pretty like solid picking just in terms of like giving himself like plenty of open space to move he did try it once he lost on battlefield in the winner's final set he tried going to ps2 this time going for a little bit wider but shorter side blast zones and different platform layouts mm -hmm. uh, maybe that'll make a difference uh, we'll have to see during the middle the midst of this game exactly and also another ajax interjects into the chat i just have to say one thing on the topic going on in hand top player opinions are one thing but use them as a reference point always form Formulate your own viewpoints that way you can grow as a player make sure you decide to be confident in what you want to do and grow as a player yourself never let somebody else dictate what you want to do but right now we're your own here. person wake and up sheeple <laughs> 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 i'm trying to say it all like 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 ajax helps the community and then you're just like sheeple <laughs> but you know what, what it was I'm the thinking i know it was the same exact thing on both hashtag woke but anyways so <laughs> But Hydra just cruising along here with the dash uh, dash that gonna follow up and let's see trying to look for the forward smash on ledge get up but uh good job by Hydra rolling in but even so Hamas Rat still pushing the initiative. Oh yes. 
Oh, I can't even like, even start a sentence by the time Mouse Rider's hitting these absolutely clean conversions, reading jumps and teleports all over the place. Okay, the quick attack trades with Nair, but it looks like Hydra was able to get out an option first. Yeah, could you Fine. imagine if Jab 1 still existed for Palu in this oh game? My like, God. like <laughs> just the mix-ups on Shield, pa Palu would be top one. If that, if Palu had any sort of like down throw, down throw fair or down throw, well, she has down throw fair, but like down throw up air loops that she had in Smash 4, like this, this game, man, playing her would be. <laughs> Y'all remember customs? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I live in the same state as Captain Awesome, so oh, I, <laughs> I, I, I got the way to step firsthand. <laughs> I don't envy you, not one no, bit. As you should it. Uh, but I mean, he plays, you know, he plays the, exactly the same way. So uh, You don't understand, he came to New York City a lot. True, to... I remember seeing that, and how well did that work for him, because y'all don't let that happen. But anyway, so we're going to see <laughs> Mouse Rat going to jump off stage now bringing this back after what was a decent deficit percent, looking for the, ba uh, the back throw. Oh, there it is. Oh, you know what? I like that. That Thunder Joe on shield and then fade away Nair. That's a situation where it's like, oh, oops, I made a mistake. Let me stay safe, though, on retreat. Yeah, that's like a... Master Red is pulling off some of these, like, drag down Nair mix-ups, like, super cleanly. And, like, whether he's fading in, out, or crossing up, like, it's all so dangerous, especially at this percent, since if you get hit by that drag down Nair, it's effectively death. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, at this window, you get hit by that drag down there at the ledge, especially. It'll lead to down smash, but all you need is that dash attack. That's going to close it out. And now, Kai just bought himself a lead, which means he can buy himself some percent of the heat. Yeah, 158% down to zero. You got to get as much as you can. Oh, and good thing at the tech as well. Good reaction from Hydra trying to run right back in, too. Not even waiting while up this percent. Just running in. Oh, I think if we see another dip down low on the stage, Hydra is absolutely going for a down air. But instead, Mouse Rat is able to get back to center stage. Dash next is going to get the runaway, and we're looking at one stock apiece. Thunder Jolt to keep him off of his back as it allows him to get back to stage just fine. He misses the drag down the air after the up air. Quick attack angle is coming. Let's see if Mouse Rat is able to get in. Good defense from from Hydra, and even after missing uh, the follow-up plot to parry, still getting another Nair to follow up. Oh, I, you know what? I really like that. Going for that beer. For the, oh, 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 oh. Again. Almost again. Uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> take a cup of water. Uh, Shivers. Man, mouse rat at his oh, game. no. Oh, what a What an angle that that said that, too. Yeah. Also, big rip, but it's no so... I'm just so like flabbergasted mm -hmm. that after the past like x amount of times hydra was able to send uh send a mouse right off stage and almost every time hydra I look at uh not hydra mouse rat double I look at that replay again here we go what a weird like look how slow it knocked back like mouse rat too like <laughs> it's like uh all right you know what you got it like i'm just gonna just gonna just drift off like slow sad music playing in the background oh wait no we're in a different era right now that's a that is definitely a, a funeral guy meme carry off right there yeah all right here how we go you, how oh. do you know it's that one time that he's not gonna double jump thunder joel out of hit stun he did that for the past four times it's just like it's just that layered conditioning sometimes you just feel it like you you go for the options cover it multiple times to make it so somebody falls asleep on that because you do it every time and then once you finally throw it out at the end it's not like it was a bad call for mouse rat to not anticipate it you just get caught off guard yeah that's fair so we're gonna see hydra go up two games to one possibly one game away from ending the xeno bracket before midnight or will Mouse Rat run it back and get us to the game number five? Ready? Uh, hot shoutouts to Castlevania going on in the chat. Most of those games, pretty good. Symphony of the Night, pretty solid game. Oh, you know what? Actually, I had no idea Symphony of the Night still has like a decent community. But one of my roommates oh, yeah. plays it regularly on PS3. I never knew that that was a thing. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so, it's one of the, like, it's not one of, it's, I don't think it's in the top five, but it's still one of the most, like, speed, it's the most speedrun Castlevania game, I think. It's either that or the original Castlevania, which yeah, has it's a definitely a fun game. I, I, crazy I, I, speedrun. Not sure it's gonna pull a great comeback like in Evo Grants. <laughs> so, Shout out uh, to Evo Online, oh really? Uh, as if we were actually even even Evo Online, but right now we're currently in Xeno Wi-Fi Online Grand Finals. Uh, looking at game number four, possibly with Hydra taking the W, but let's see if Hydra can run it back. Uh, also, I just realized Malstra intentionally going um, going back to uh, to Battlefield after this stage has really just been in Hydra's favor pretty heavy these past couple uh, times they've been here. I mean, we are on Battlefield, aren't we? This, it's almost like taking a taking Seattle to home field. It's like you're giving them the 12th Oh, man. God, like, please. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we can't hear each other right now on this. <laughs> we would be able sorry, to hear. So, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the crowd who is still yelling in my ears seven months later after the Super Bowl has already ended. Fortunately, no football will be happening this year because we're in 2020 and we need to delete this year. But the jump read is okay. going to get caught once again, conditioning the jump or really setting up that jump off that, that Thunder Jolt. Oh, the Thunder Jolt was going to almost interrupt the recovery. Good thing he had that jump. And he waited for the shield to come up and not just committing immediately to the back to the back of the shield. I like it. Yeah, yeah the, the last few times you've gone for a ledge option, so you anticipate the teleport in center stage. And the have to, unfortunately, not going to take it out yet. But now we're at that window where P Pikachu players like to say they can't kill. But unfortunately, really, it's kind of a struggle because you have to go for a dash tech or an up throw at this point uh, outside of a hard read. And that this is gonna work for, it's gonna work in Hydra's favor because the back throw is gonna end up taking it out. Wow, that was so unfortunate. How like, he rolls onto ledge and then immediately goes for a cash attack, but unfortunately that sets him up right for a back throw, killing at right about a hundred. That up fair carry gave me shades of Smash Four. Honestly, I thought that might have killed off the top. That got hit. But like even watching Rosalie in this game, I still get afraid. Everybody, anytime somebody gets hit by Luma up air. Well, Woo! Here's the up air once again, almost gonna get it. Good air dodge to get by that explosive flame. Trying to go for the tri state shuffle, trying to get the cross up to go for the, or, excuse me, run to ledge to go for the back throw. He didn't even go for the roll that time, so it was super, it was even less telegraphed. It was a straight Nyro. Oh, he's mega dead. <laughs> Pikachu dash attack, man. There it is again for just throwing out the uh, explosive flame early that time. And here we go. Just put it out at the ledge. Not much you could do in that situation outside of just drop down, get your eagle on, and hope that you eventually get back. But what are we going to do? We're going to watch an entire more? train all the way to the top. He was five more percent. If he hit 60, he was probably dead. Right. Yeah, honestly, I think so, too. Like, just at that window, uh, I, a little bit more might have just killed off the top. We would have been seeing the end of this bracket, but up two stocks to one. Looks like we're getting that much closer to seeing the end of the bracket right now. But we can't sleep on Mouse Rat at all. Because he's shown time. He's proven throughout like, winner's finals and loser's finals, and even earlier in this set, that he's able to make comebacks when he yes. needs to. Yes, absolutely. Like, Mouse Rat has been able to consistently come back from positions being down a full stock plus, really near kill percent the entire time. We've already seen it happen against Hydra before, so let's see if Mouse Rat can somehow find that magic in a bottle. But at the moment, you really can't afford to take any trades or any mistakes like that, landing right in center stage, getting caught once again. Quick attack and back on stage once again. and. If there's anything he needs to do, he needs to get a kill off of... Okay, I was gonna say get a kill off that ledge interaction right there, but unfortunately, the tables have been turned. Yeah, you've reached that point now, too, where because Hydra has him at 135%, you... Oh, wow, you know what? I like that idea. Trying to go for uh, the wave land onto the platform and get maybe a back throw. The jump read is still not gonna kill, but Hydra can just... There you go, drop down off the ledge into off air because you decided to go for the down smash at the ledge and that's gonna cost you. Hydra's gonna take it 3-1 over Mouse Rat, taking it in grand finals with Palatina once again. And that is it for Xeno Wi-Fi. What'd you think about how Mouse Rat, like what, what do you think Mouse Rat could have possibly done a little bit different in that game? Because honestly it was just, like, everything was just uh, the, the way that Hydra wanted it to be controlled, how he wanted him to go. Yeah, the cards really came up in a, oftentimes Hydra's favor. And one of the big thing that I would see out of uh, Mouse Rat in that matchup is don't be afraid to go deep. 
Like, don't be afraid to chase Palutena because you have more ability to get back to stage than she does when they're both in that offstage edge guarding situation. And at the percents, especially in down two stocks to one, like you need to make a play right there. So committing to the ledge trapping while strong isn't going to get you, isn't going to build that deficit and get you into an even game like, uh, like it would be, bef like you were before. Like you mm -hmm, need absolutely. to start making a play there. And Pikachu has every tool to mess up Palutena off stage. Like, 